Hello everybody, it's Amanda from scrimpymommy.co.uk Today I'm going to make a really fun project um, I've seen these round and about on Shabby Chic style swapping groups and things like that and I've really wanted to have a go for a very long time so I'm going to have a go at making a beautiful tag book um, and I'm going to use, I have got lots of these beautiful memories and more cards. Um, now you can have a look at the vast selection of them in the current catalogue and it st starts on page 190 and it goes through to, look at State of My. You can tell my catalogue's pre really well loved. It's falling to pieces. Let me just zoom out a bit. Oh, dear me. So yeah, it starts on page 190 and it goes through... 2193 okay and it shows you all the different cards that you can get and they're for um pocket scrapbooking but you can use them for so much more which is why we call them memories and more you can use them for card making you can use them for journaling you can use them for anything and today i'm going to make a tag book um so i'm going to use a variety of things and i'm making it up as a go so don't quite know what's going to happen <laughs> i want to use my new punch um this is from the delightfully detailed range this will be out in the in the new catalogue um so i'm going to have a go and i'm going to um punch that decorative corner there with that one and then that one is a corner rounder and that one does ribbon holes so mm, I might round this corner and the opposite corner. There we go. And round the opposite one. And it just adds that little bit of fancy, doesn't it? So I've rounded the wrong corner there. I'm going to round that one as well then. I wanted opposites. Oh, what a nana. Never mind. I'm just having a play anyway. I'll do that one as well. There we go. Night matches. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get a selection of these. Now what I might do is I might laminate this, then again I might not. I might just get on with it. So I'm going to stick this, um, one of my flowers that I made yesterday, I'm going to stick to the front. But I will just want to put a gem in the middle, I think, um, just to give that a little lift. Um, and then I'll select what's going to be my pages I may well fast forward I've learned to do some basic editing with the help of my 11 year old daughter Alexia <laughs> you know it is kids know how to do things straight away so she's um, shown me how to speed parts up and how to do voiceovers so I might just um, you know now I don't have to think oh my video it'll be too long I can just speed it up and um, we can we can crack on, can't we? So I'm just going to use some snail in the centre of there and attach my flower, bearing in mind to leave this corner free because I'm going to be punching holes and attaching it all together. Like so, so that's going to be my front page. Okay, I've got a lovely card on the back. So I'm just going to... Collect a few things together, get them in order, might speed this section up and then uh, we'll see about some decorating. So, watch out for me working really fast. <laughs> okay, so I'm just arranging my pile of cards here. Um, doing a bit of a voiceover. <laughs> wow, I'm working really fast though. Look, my arms are really tired. Um, yeah, I'm just selecting what cards I want to use. I'm using them randomly. Punching the corners the same and just selecting ones that I like with nice sayings on or with lots of space for journaling. Um, I found an overlay there that's really really pretty and then I decided to cut up some um, banners I thought they would make nice so I'm using the triple banner punch um, recutting them to size so that they fit <laughs> and yeah just adds it some different elements in there and can use them as like page dividers. Um, so now I'm punching a hole using my cropper dial. If you don't have one, use a normal hook. Okay, so there we go. We've put all my pages together, selected quite at random as you just saw. I sp sped it up so that you didn't get a uh, bored. <laughs> now what I'm going to do is I am just going to add an eyelet to my front and back cover. Um, just so that it uh, just lasts a bit longer. Uh, this isn't necessary if you don't have 
one of these eyelet setters you can totally miss this section out it doesn't matter um, this is just me um, playing with my Miami tools okay so if I can get it on there we go give that a squeeze has that worked? there we go that's that one and I'm going to just do my back cover and put it that way and I always get in a bit of a tiz was with this I never know if I'm doing it quite the right way but never mind I always get there in the end give it a squeeze so that just reinforces that front and the back cover now um, so I can add those on and then just really really easily get one of these little ring things link it all together and of course you can put bits in take bits out you can do what you want you can use it uh, to journal you can put cards on it you can fill it with inspirational quotes and give it to a friend there's loads you can do I'm just thinking whether I want it that way or the other way actually I want it that way do I? I'm just thinking which way around I want this clip, I don't suppose. I want, the, I want it to fasten at the back. So these loads you can do with them. Um, you can make them and swap them. Um, you can embellish them. I'm going to probably embellish this later off camera. I'll add some um, stickers to it and I might add some handmade flowers in there and embellish those pages a little bit. And I might also cut down some plain um like plain lined writing paper and add it in in between um for writing on um but i think these are awesome and i'm going to decorate the ring um that holds it together as well um i did think about punching bits out and sticking them on you can make little pockets you can make extra little tags there's so much you can do with these, they are awesomely, awesomely cute. So there we go, I will probably add a lot more to that off camera. Oh, my jewel's falling off my flower. Come <laughs> on, let me get another one. Can't be having that. Let me get another one. Probably needs some, because I've put, um... Because I have put some glitter in there, it probably needs... A little bit more help adhesive wise so let me get a glue dot that's what it needs it needs a glue dot um, just to help it adhere to that glitter if I get my glue dot off there and stick it in the center of there where I want it is it on and then add my gem then it will stir I probably add some pearls along here as well I might go and um, highlight some of the words with my fine tip glue pen very much like you would use um, glossy accents you can use it the same you got these stickers here in fact I might just stick some of these on while I'm here um, so I look perfect moments I like that why can't we stick that well, let's have it down the banner perfect moments there we go so I can utilize the stickers I've got some other stickers in my collection that I can use so now I just want to make a tassel for down the side so I have my big box <laughs> of stamping up lace and trims here and I'm gonna use some um, I'm gonna make myself a tassel I want some nice floater um, ribbons we don't want hard ribbons because the harder ribbons won't tie as nicely I will warn you okay um, let's have a look what else have I got I'll have some of that that's nice um, what else what else have I got I've got all sorts in here but I didn't realize I had all this ribbon um, I really must uh, try not to um, hoard stuff <laughs> so I've got myself a selection a selection out there so let's just have a bit of a tidy so we can see what we're doing these I'm going to have to add some of these always need these library library binder clips you can add them anywhere you like I'm 
put one on the back page there and one random layer in the middle here why not um, you can add little extra things on there tag them onto that you can even use the um, that I made the other day have I got some to hand? should have let me see the page markers you can even decorate those up and add those in um, which I think I will <laughs> you can add those in even and then put cute little stamps on them or whatever you like I'll add something to that later right so let's get on with the tassel so that the video is not too long um, I want it about that long and another thing I might do is go away and make myself a charm out of beads but that's totally non stamping up so I won't bore you with that because it'll probably take me about five hours to make one so <laughs> So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut myself various lengths of all sorts. Uh, put them around there. Okay, so I want them about that length. So that's about the right length. So then you just cut everything else to a similar length. It doesn't have to be exact, but you want a bit of rhyme or reason to it, don't you? I'll have some of this one. No. Oh, yes, I will. I've just coloured the bottom. I must have been experimenting with that one. If I just trim that, get rid of that. Don't want that. <laughs> Don't want it. Chop that up. These are a super quick gift to make. I'm going to have some more layers because I like it. Super quick gift to make. Um, I absolutely love them myself. I'm going to add some more lace in there as well. I love this lace. It's just so beautiful. Um, you can add it to your pages. You can add it as an ornament on the edge of your pages. Um, is that enough? I think that's enough. I don't want it too, too thick. And then just add that like so. And then I will use another piece of a lace to tie it all together. So I want to make them in two. Or you could put a pretty, a lovely big bow if you're good at tying bows. Um, I can tie bows, but under pressure on the camera, uh, no thank you. I'd rather not. <laughs> so I'm just going to tie, literally tie this together um, to make my tassel. And then, as I say, I will go away and I will make myself a um, some kind of charm. I might have one in my stash somewhere that a, some kind lady will have sent me at some point. Let's put that in a bow. And anybody can make these. You don't need any special tools, really. So let's just put that tassel down there. And there you go, you've got yourself a little a little tag book. I think that's really cute. Don't quite know where to put my tassel. So I have it at the front. I really like that. So there's a, another use for your memories and more cards. If you don't have those, you could use scraps. Get those uh, scraps used up. Get your stamps out and make your own custom little cards. So there you go, a little tag book. I hope you'll give that a try. Thanks for watching. Bye.